guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CalWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday and that means it's Tip Friday and what I wanted to show you today, and some of you may already know this and do this, but for those of you that don't, I hope it helps you out. I'm going to be showing you how you can take an intricate die and sometimes when they're super intricate and you pull, you know, your paper and your die off of your Big Shot platform, the die itself will stick and you have to work to get it off. I'm going to show you how I do that and it works 90% of the time. Well, probably more like 99% of the time, but hey, I don't want to get overconfident. So let me tell you, first of all, when I'm using my dies and my Big Shot, my preference is the magnetic platform and I will have both the magnetic platform and some other Big Shot accessories down in the supplies and up in the eye where you can purchase them if you would like. And I'm also using the Snowfall Thinlet dies, which, oh my gosh, they are absolutely fabulous. Available right now through November or while supplies last, whichever happens the first or happens the quickest. That's what's going to happen. They'll be gone. So what I want to show you is I'm going to put my die on here, okay? And you're probably have plates that look just like those. And they tend to want to grab that cardstock, especially on the dies that we run through a couple of times. So I'm going to go ahead and make my sandwich. I'm going to run this through my Big Shot. And because it's an intricate die and I'm using my magnetic platform, I'm going to go through and I'm going to come back through it. All right? Now, let me bring this back over. What a lot of people will do will, is they will pull this cardstock off, which leaves actually what you've done stuck to the acrylic plate below. If you will take the cardstock that is around the image and just pivot it, then it will pull it up. And you see how that happens? Then you're not trying to take a spatula or something and pull that up. So that's the that's my tip. Take the cardstock, pivot the cardstock with the die still in it, and that should break that seal loose from the bottom of your acrylic plate. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.